Okay, so season one is almost over, and I certainly can't be able to do this on Twitch, so might as well showcase how I've been progressing in this game, even though I missed a few days. I did take advantage of uh, whatever double experience weekend we had as best as I could, even though I just only log in to get my dailies done, whatever weeklies I could get done before the end of the week for the measly, sad amount of... Uh, coins we can get. Here's where we are on the battle pass. Oh, I never heard this music before, actually. This is new to me. So maybe there is a chance we could get the meh-looking Cassidy skin. But it does go to show that, um, I'm currently just free to play. We could be able to get a Battle Pass level 55 before the end of the season. However, this is to provide, um, provided that they give a generous amount of experience during events. And double experience weekends. Without double experience weekends, and primarily only seasonal experience... I don't know if we could get to 55 or not, but they were kind of generous this season, in all, in all honesty. So the rewards we got for free are... Akitiko has long been unlocked. Winston's okay-looking tactical skin. The sipping emote that pretty much was a victory animation. <laughs> Pineapple pizza souvenir. I don't know why this exists. Uh, the Kitsune um, weapon keychain. That's um, pretty cute. And then we also have these um, victory poses. These three voice lines. The dragon and I are one. Two different sprays. One highlight intro which is actually a really welcome addition to my Soldier 76 friends. Um, this new name card we got, and new player icons. So with only four days left of the season as free-to-play, I might be able to have a chance to get to, like, Battle Pass level funny number. The only thing I, I, that's left I could do is get this Soldier and Spray. I could probably push for this skin if I want to, but I don't think I'll choose to do so. And the last thing we could get is Battle Pass level 79's, uh, this is a really cool name, name card, but I don't think we'll be able to get that as far, given my current progress. But yeah, I've been playing, I have been playing, um, there are a few days I've skipped out on because, um, either just get straight up tired, end up doing something else, other games do take up my time and efforts and patience and whatnot. And I do still enjoy the main game by itself, it's just that all the other systems surrounding this game are just, um... It, it makes it difficult to stay committed to long hours and more rounds on this game, even without, like, doing so much comp. I only did, like, maybe, like, one round or two of comp, but I just, I, I just wasn't feeling it. And I just don't, and we just don't have enough currency in general to get any more cosmetics. Because, I don't know why, that, um, the Battle Pass rewards does not include the coins. In a lot of games Battle Pass, they would have, like, at least some amount, even if it's, like, a tiny amount of, like, premium currency. Overwatch doesn't right now, which is kind of bizarre. Well, hopefully in the near future, Blizzard can be able to change this and we'll be able to have some premium currency in the Battle Pass in the future. But right now, Season 2 is just looking... The only thing that's pretty tight right now is, I guess, another new map and Ramatra. But as they've stated more than once before, you gotta get yourself to Battle Pass level 55 to unlock the new tank. As busted as he could be. And everything else just seems like cosmetics, skins and stuff on top of more skins and a special event. That's all we got for Season 2. 
You would think that maybe with the addition of Ramatra, we would have a PvE mode where we could have like a part two of the Null Sector event, right? I was thinking of like a part two of the Null Sector event. Let me uh, let me backtrack a little bit, because you know how in Junkenstein's Revenge we got a part two, where it was like a sequel follow up to the first Junkenstein event, and we get to play as new heroes. I was like thinking for Null Sector Part Two, we get to play as like another group from the Overwatch team, fighting more Null Sector individuals, fighting more Null Sector minions, and we get to have a Ramatra boss fight. Now that would actually be pretty cool. I, I thought that would be something they could introduce in Season Two, since um. Not many players will be able to unlock Ramatra right away, so... But, with the trailer that they give us, I don't know. Since we're not going to be getting p supposedly PvE stuff until next year, and even then we're going to have the holidays first, which they'll let players get previous holiday skins they might not have gotten before. But for old players who want something new out of getting skins for free, it's just unsatisfactory. That's as best as I'll say for now. I'm just glad we made some progress and still enjoy the game for its main gameplay, just not everything else right now. That's my two cents.